That roughly translates to Ireland forever. For those of you who, like myself, are less than fluid in the Gaelic. I'm Ben Tedesco, the current commander of the Michael A. Raleigh Jr. American Agent Post on 9th Street, just this side of 3rd Avenue. The sister post, if you will, to McFadden's, which is right down the street. I'm delighted and indeed honored to be here on this day with George Bachman, this day of celebration of Irish American heritage. George Bachman is a member of my post, a lifelong resident of this community, a highly decorated Vietnam veteran, a New York firefighter who responded to the horrendous attack on our World Trade Center and was one of the few survivors of the firehouse closest to ground zero, although he was seriously injured that day, now nine and a half years ago. I should also tell you that he's a published author. He wrote about his recollections of that day. His book is entitled Terra's Cross, and it's not difficult to find. It's in every Barnes and Noble bookstore from coast to coast. And according to the latest issue of the Park Slope paper, he'll be signing his book at our neighborhood Barnes and Noble tomorrow evening. I found it to be an informative and inspiring read, but we're here today to recognize George for his service to country while in Vietnam and Cambodia. Retired firefighter Bachman is the only combat Vietnam veteran to be awarded the fire department's highest rated medal as it relates to 911. It's called the World Trade Center Rescue Recovery Memorial Citation, also known as the Double Star. I will present to him today the second highest unit citation for his service in Vietnam and Cambodia. Before doing so, I'd like to read a very brief excerpt from a letter sent by his commanding officer in Vietnam and Cambodia. And I quote, Enclosed is the valorous unit citation for the 1st Air Cavalry Division for service in Cambodia. Sadly, most of the recipients don't know that they were awarded the second highest unit award this country bestows. A rather sobering thought in my opinion. Without further ado, George. <laughs> the valorous citation, human citation for your service in Cambodia. Well done. It's a grand day for a parade. I'd like to thank Kathleen McDonough and the wonderful Irish Committee that give us this parade every year. Me and my family march every year, and we're so proud to do so. My book signing starts tomorrow at Barnes and Nobles, kicks off at Tri-State Area Tour, starts at 6 o'clock. We'd love to see you be a part of history. Come on down and read Terrace Cross. It's destined to be a full-length movie, which will play at that movie house. Hey. We'd be glad to see you. I'd be glad to meet you. I'd be glad to sign for you. God love you. Before I sign off and the brain starts, I'd just like to say on behalf of my entire family, God bless Windsor Terrace. God bless Park Slope. But by God, God bless America.
test one two. All right, right now I'd like to turn over the mic to Jim O'Day, who's from our neighborhood here in Windsor Terrace on Fuller Place. He's going to do the two national anthems. So at this point, you can take your uh, attention to him. Sorry, one last second. If everybody is standing in front of those barriers, I need to either, either move to the left or to the right, as per the police department. Because they're going to be moving the barriers. Thank you. Please join me. We'll sing you a song, a soldier song, with cheering, rousing chorus, as round the blazing fires we throng the starry heavens o'er us, impatient for the coming fight, and as we wait the morning's light, here in the silence of the night, we will chant a soldier's song. Soldiers are we, whose lives are pledged to Ireland. Some have come from the land beyond the waves, sworn to be free, no more our ancient sire land shall shelter the despot or the slave. Tonight we'll mend the barn away in Aaron's cause come war, war we'll make cannons roar and rifles peal we will chant a soldier's song Well done Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and the bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red flare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled them also. 
And with us today, it's an honor to have the Irish Consul General with us uh, to be part of this ceremony on the 10th anniversary. So, Noel Kilkenny, the Irish Consul General, would uh, come up and just say a few words, and we'd like to uh, welcome him here, his first time in Brooklyn, I believe. So, I can't bring your fortune to Brooklyn now. Thank you so much. It's a, truly is an honor for any Irishman to, set, to stand in this city and to mark and pay tribute to the wonderful men of the fire department, police department and the other emergency services. Throughout the world, I was living in London at the time and throughout the world we watched in awe, we watched with huge pride in they risking their lives for so many and I think we will keep them forever in our minds and in our prayers. Um, this is my first official visit to Brooklyn for a St. Patrick's Day parade. It's great to be in Brooklyn. Uh, I've, been, I've done a couple of parades in Queens and uh, in New York City, in Manhattan. It's great to be in Brooklyn. I look forward very much and I'm glad that the uh, our traditional Irish good weather is here for us today. And uh, in, enjoy the parade, celebrate the Irish heritage of this great city and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you. God bless. And now we have um, a moment of silence. Uh, the wreath laying and taps by the NYPD. And laying the wreath is going to be the aide to the Grand Marshal, uh, Detective Michael Cleary, the Consul General of Ireland, the Fire Department, our Grand Marshal, Mayo Driscoll, come right out here. So we'll have a moment of silence for everyone who died that day. All of them, the young, the old, and just ordinary people that went to work that day and never returned home. And we ask our Lady of Knob to Queen of Ireland to remember them and their families.
Testament too. I want to see some people doing some little jigs right now. Ah, gee, let's go, little jig. <laughs>
the Bogey Club, founded in 1960. Uh, my mother, Catherine McDonough, was one of those founding members. Welcome. Hi. Watch out, she's got an early stick in her hand. All right, we got the Brooklyn Shamrocks uh, with Kevin Brennan. He's no good guy. And Hogany, from Hogany's Hardware, all the way back, uh, back in the day. <laughs> okay, next we have the Commodore Barry Club, Brooklyn, New York. Founded 1951.
Marty to put three. I did. I got a nice photo of him with the other guys. the secretary for the New York City Parade. My, both my sons have marched in that parade. My oldest son is graduating from West Point in May, so he uh, carried the banner for Xavier High School when he was marching. It is, it is. He's It's a nice event. It's really wonderful. Oh, yeah. Nice, beautiful dresses on these girls. Nice. Nice going, girls. Beautiful dresses.
Hey, next we have, right, right in our neighborhood, Tac 237, Brooklyn, New York. And the whole thing's down. Anthony Kano leading the way. Welcome. Just, just a reminder, Hi guys. Uh, the beginning of parade is going to come back around, so you're going to see them twice. I think we're the only parade that does it, one full loop around, all the other parades just there have one are. straight parade and that's it. They're about as but good as you get. But if you just get. be a little patient, they'll be back around before no time. A uh, little music if you can at the reveal stand. Okay, I'm going to go catch up with my crowd. Coming back. Okay, looking up 7th Avenue, at the corner of 13th Street. Sanitation. Nice and guns are coming by for the Francis Xavier. High school once again. Or maybe it's grammar school and high school. High schools are open. Here at Society. All right, here they come. Hello, Sister Valeria. You're running a good ship here. <laughs> Hello, Judy. How you doing? Good to see you again so soon. Same here. Hi, guys. Hi. Paris, go get him. There he is. All right. Excellent. Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. There was some. There was some good movement on his feet there just a moment ago. Hello, Kathy Hunt. How are we doing, my dear? Hello, Rory. It's a beautiful looking soul. It's an outfit, right?
the Girl Scout song is going to be in my head tonight. Well, Mr. Kramer is going to wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning and he's going to be singing. <laughs> <laughs> is waving. The citizen is waving to is a fan. <laughs> he's still in my, my role. Exactly, still in the Ulysses role. As I pan back towards the friendly son of St. Patrick. Tom Driscoll and Ronald Spence doing his thing, breaking out the kilt for today. Nice going, Ron. There he is. So, see, you gave you some bagpipes, you'll be all set. I know, right? I'll be next year. Exactly. One of Fufu Zella, Green Horn. Bring it in the house and just stop blowing. Drive Diana crazy. We already do that enough. Same trouble. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> there they are! 
hi guys! Come on, Tom! Come on! Hi, Patsy! Hey, Tom Beanie has joined us. There he is. Wearing that distinguished hat and his cowboy boots. Whoa. <laughs> now, if they were green, then they would be okay. Direct from the parade in Dallas. There you go. <laughs> The troopers, the ones that made it the entire way. There they are. Super. Tom Meany has got his hands raised in victory as he comes through the finish line. <laughs> All right, guys.
is it into the parade. Okay, next we have Troop 187 of Macklin Hall to Mary. Welcome, Cub Scouts. Hello, yes. Nice, I got them. Got some nice video of them coming by. Nice. Good job, guys. Nice. Good job, guys. Hey, next we have something close to home. Troop uh, Cub Scouts, 237, Pack 237. Holy name. Anthony Kakemo, the man of the day. Thank you, 237. All right. Nice two. All right, nice work. <laughs> See ya. That's all the bands and groups that have passed by. Right now, if I can get your attention to the review and stand here, uh, we have the Grand Marshal and the Aids. So if you can give your attention up here. Okay, right now, this year, 36 years, our annual parade. Our Grand Marshal's Mayo Driscoll from County Cork. If you can give you a nice round of applause. She's going to stand up and give you some enlightenment. This is a surprise. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all. Thank you very much to the committee. I'm really honored and it's a privilege to me to be honored here and the borough that I arrived in in 1958. I never thought that 50 some odd years later I'd be the Grand Marshal here. It's a wonderful day and thank you all for coming out. Congratulations to all the aides and I'm delighted that the Consul General of Ireland here with us. Thank you all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay, once again, thank you all the aides and Grand Marshal as well. Uh, this year, our parade was dedicated to John Davenport Sr. As most of you probably know from the neighborhood, has done so many things over the past years. So this is dedicated to him and also Kevin Carroll Sr. Senior, uh, as most of you might know from the Carrolls from Windsor Place. So a uh, round of applause for those two people who have done great things for us in the past. Okay, next I'm going to hand over the mic once again to my mom, uh, who's been doing and carrying on the chairperson for so many years, but she finally passed on the thing to me. But now I'm going to pass on the mic to her. What can I say? We need the younger. We're getting a little older. And we need these young Irish Americans to take up the flag and keep it flying all through the tri-state area. And it's a bit, you know, we all have to get involved, these younger children that we brought up. And I'm glad to say the Brooklyn youth are with dancing and Irish culture and Gaelic games. That's what we're all about, the intertwined histories of Ireland and America. We were in Ireland, we came here, uh, the faith, history, tribute and remembrance. And if we stick to that, we won't get too lost. We may get lost for a while, but if we, we always come back to our faith. That's very important because it stands us by us when we're sick and when we're not doing as good as we should. And I think the Irish has our ancestors, what they had to go through, and if we remember what they had to go through, we shouldn't complain about our little things. So if we stick to our faith, history, and culture, we'll be all right. And again, thank you all for coming. Council General May and the Aids to the Grand Marshal. And we stick together. That's another thing. You know, that's the main thing. What we can say is God bless Ireland and God bless America. And we hope to see you all back here. All right, you heard that, ladies and gents. Once again, I want to recognize uh, Michelle Brennan, my co chairperson. Put your hand up, girl. Put it up. <laughs> uh, those people on the stage, especially the Grand Marshal and Aids, we expect you to be full members now, and you're going to be helping us out to, ca to carry on the next parade next year, alright? Put your hands up and swear. <laughs>
Alright, if anybody wants to buy me a container of Farrell's, I'll see you later on. Alright, cause it's, I get very thirsty when I'm on the mic here. Alright? Alright, so once again, thank you very much for coming out today. And, uh, is there anything else anybody needs to say? I just want to say, he said he was going to Farrell's and having t a lot of beer. You know, I'm a tea talker. Uh, and I think, that, you know, we could hold it down a bit. <laughs> Alright, that's it. It's officially done. Thank you for the 36th Annual Parade. Enjoy yourselves. Don't drink too much if you're going to start to drink. Modification people, modifications. <laughs> Trainer for many a year. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. I'll go to some hollow, I'll set up my still, and I'll make you a gallon for a ten shilling bill. I'm a rambler, I'm a gambler, I'm a long ways from home. And if you don't like me, well, leave me alone. I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry, and a moonshine don't kill me. I live till I die. I'll go to some hollow. Country. In gallons of wash I can go on the spree No women to follow, the world is all mine I love none so well as I love 